Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, today is Wednesday, March the 31st, 2024. Got happy birthday shout outs going out to Mark Hurd, Mark Adkins, and Carl Bradford. So, without further ado, here's your birthday song for the three of you. I said, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Carl. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another year gone away. I'm hoping you're enjoying your special day because, well, it's your happy birthday day today. Day today. I said, hey, Mark. Hey, Carl. Hey, Mark. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun that you made. I hope you're enjoying your special day because, well, it's your happy birthday day today. Day today. It's your happy birthday day today. Happy birthday to the three of you and many, many more. Shinsho fans, that's right. I've got them. Shinsho lovers, servers, and friends just like it and love it. Here we go. We got Ken and Becky Tackett. Diana Gray, Kimberly Dodd Little, Little, a.k.a. Ducky, Jarvis Smoker, Patrick and Gardner, and Lisa Foster, and Sweet Sunny Day Girl, a.k.a. Rachel. And then we got the Shin Show Shimmer. That's right, Darla Gilmore Tipley. And then my Pokey Pal, Amanda Sue Little. Special return poke for you right now. And Julie Rigo. Special return poke for you too. Alrighty then. Weather forecast. Wait a minute. Weather forecast is going to be brought to you by Helping Hands Thrift Store and Foster Care Closet. Plus the uh, diner, yeah, the VIP diner. So come in and try uh, mushroom and Swiss burgers, corn nuggets, and uh, all other great food cooked right in front of you. Now, the location is at 416 South Bid Street, St. Charles, Missouri. Open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And while you eat, come on and go to the closet and VIP group and diner to shop. All right. All right. Okay. Hey, you know, we have a weather uh, advisory going out. Uh, some inclement weather possible. Yeah, we have inclement weather quite possible, and that is going to be uh, throughout the night. Thunderstorm warnings plus potential for severe weather. So be prepared to take shelter if need be. Partly cloudy this evening. Scattered thunderstorms. Developing after midnight. Storms may produce some hail low temperatures of 55 degrees fahrenheit winds south southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour chances of rain 50 percent Sorry, I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Shouldn't be jumping around like it is, but it is. Whoa.
What the? Okay. There we go. Now then, for Thursday, March the 14th, we're going to have some real nice weather again. Scattered thunderstorms in the morning, then mainly cloudy skies during the afternoon. High thunderstorms. Uh, with thunderstorms, likely a few storms may be severe. High temperatures of 79 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 70%. Scattered thunderstorms during the evening and cloudy skies overnight with low temperatures around 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds west and northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain are 60%. Now we got uh, Friday. Sorry, April, no, March 15th, 2024. Cloudy skies early will become partly cloudy later in the day. High temperatures will be 61 degrees Fahrenheit with winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Clean, clear, clear skies with low Temperatures of 36 degrees Fahrenheit, winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then we'll have Saturday, March the 16th, mostly sunny skies with high temperatures of 67 degrees Fahrenheit, winds west at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies overnight, low temperatures of 70. Mostly, yeah, 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then, oh, sorry, mostly clear skies overnight, low temperatures of 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds Northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. In the end, sunshine uh, on Sunday, March the 17th, and sun clouds mixed in. High temperatures of 53 degrees Fahrenheit with winds west to northwest. I mean, yeah at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Some clouds early will give way to generally clear conditions overnight. Low temperatures of 27 degrees Fahrenheit. winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for our fifth and final day of our five-day forecast, Monday, March the 18th, 2024, sunshine, high temperatures around 46 degrees Fahrenheit with winds at northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Boy, that temperature just up and down and up and down. You want to catch a cold or a flu? Come on by St. Charles. We'll help you out as much as we can. <laughs> Mostly clear skies overnight, low temperatures of 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds west to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that, my friends, is your Five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing 
area. Brought to you by Helping Hands Thrift Store and Foster Care Closet. Where the food's good. The mushroom burger with the uh, corn doctors. Is that what it was? Corn nuggets. There you go. Mushroom burgers and corn nuggets. Come on. Food prepared right before your eyes. That's a fact. Food prepared right before your eyes. So come on in to the Helping Hands Thrift Store and Foster Care Closet. Check out the grub. All right. All right then. Okie dokie. I keep avoiding this thumb. See that big old blister on it? Well, it's no longer a blister. It actually popped. And the blister was huge. Almost a half inch tall. And the size of a nickel. And well, the circle there is still the size of a nickel. I got a little medicine on it, but I think I rubbed it off. Mostly on my shirt. But that's why I'm trying to avoid that thumb from rubbing my shirt. Because, well, still got part of the blister on it. Got a camera trying to come up. All right. So there you have it. That's your weather forecast. All righty then. Yesterday, we had somebody in here uh, watching me sing for about 45 minutes. So, apparently... Somebody enjoys my voice. Little nip in the nectar, a little H2O, a little taste of the tower. That's right. St. Charles Water is brought to you by the St. Charles Water Purification Company. <laughs> there you go. Alrighty then. Let's see if we can do one without going blind. I was singing something this morning that caught me off guard. Um, trying to think of what it was. Uh... It wasn't, Lord, I hope this day is good. It was something totally different. So, let's see. We're going to try to figure it out. I can't think. What was it? What was it? Hmm. Come on now. Bring your game face on. Oh. Um. Something I haven't seen in a long time. I think it was in a movie I was watching or something. Oh, uh, dog on it. Uh, come on, where you at, song? Well, can't find it. Can't bring it to the tip of my head, so there ain't no point in thinking over and over on what we're looking for. So, all right, let's see what else. Come on, yeah. We got the baby cakes and crawfish pie. We got the wonderful, wonderful taste in your eye. You can come by and have what you may want to dine on. But I'm telling you, friends, it's a place to begin. Come on and try. Try, try, baby, try, try. Do come on by and get your food on. I said, come on by and get your food on now. 
help yourself. Cannibalize what you realize. It's good old stuff from the other guys. We're going to chop down some food that's good for you. That's right. We're going to eat it all up. Uh, and we're going to watch go through. So just come on by and try and try that wonderful food that's good for you. Yeah, that's right. Come on by. Have yourself a snack and purchase some products that are more fun to buy than they are to understand. That's right. Help hands thrift store and foster care closet. I wonder, my son didn't post the uh, restaurant today. I wonder if there's a reason for that. It's the uh, meat market. Highway P. Highway P meat market. Always a tasty treat. Over there. Always got something tasty on the burner. Oh, Lord. I don't hope this day is good. No, I know I do. I mean, you know how that is. We should pray. Father, we just ask that these, any kind of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, infection, any kind of infection that's within my body be zip zoomed and out of here because, well, it don't belong. It don't belong within my body. It don't belong in, in my soul. There ain't no place for this, whatchamacallit, infection to go. We're gonna let it go, don't you know? We're gonna let it go. We got a little bit of badness in our soul. We gotta let it get gone and let it go. There ain't no place for this to show. We're gonna let that body go, go, go. We're gonna let that body Go, go, go. Don't you know? We're going to rejoice. We're going to throw party. We're going to have a happy new year and a wonderful day. Said we're going to rejoice. We're going to have a party. We're going to Help those folks who are wanting to get the thing started. A happy, happy day uh, on my way. A happy, happy day today. I said a happy day. We're on our way. A happy, happy, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, in my Jesus. Oh, in my Jesus. He washed my sins away. You oh, were happy day. Oh, he taught me how to wash. He taught me how to pray. He taught me how to watch and how to pray. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. happy day. Eh? Oh, happy day. Oh, in my Jesus. I said, in my Jesus. You wash my sins away, you happy day. Oh, 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 happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, in my Jesus. 
Oh, Lord, when my Jesus, he washed my sins away, he worried me. Ha, 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 He washed my sins away, oh, a happy day, oh, 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 oh. happy day. When my Jesus, our Lord, when my Jesus. He washed my sins away. Oh, happy day. Oh, oh, happy day. All right, hey, that's it. Let's jump on into something else, else, else. Trying to, trying to, trying to get the words and rub in. Trying to, trying to, trying to. Get that plan to go and well, what we're gonna do? I love you. Song lyrics, what was that song? Well, nobody's watching, nobody's looking at me. I'm just a sitting singing here by side. Nobody's watching. Nobody's looking to see. It's gonna be a wonderful week. Everybody's gonna play cheek to cheek. Nobody's watching but me. That's all right. That's all right, mama. That's all right with me. That's all right, baby. Oh, baby, can't you see? I said, that's all right. I said, that's all right. Song lyrics, that's all right, Elvis Presley. Well, that's all right, mama. Well, that's all right for you. I said, well, that's all right, mama. I just any way you do. Well, that's all right. I said, well, that's all right. That's all right now, mama. Any way you do. Well, mama, she done told me. Papa done told me too. Son, that girl you're all fooling with, she ain't no good for you. I said, but that's all right. I said, that's all right. That's all right now, mama. Any way you do. I'm a leaving town, baby. I'm a leaving town for sure. Well, then you won't be bothering me. My, uh, me hanging around your door. Oh, B, uh, but that's all right. I said, uh, that's all right. That's all right with you. Oh, that's all right, mama. Any way you do. I said, I need your loving. Well, that's all right. That's all right, mama, any way you do. All right, where's the other one? Get it and do do woo ba 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 ba. Da ha do 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 do. I just thought of it and I kind of threw a little bit of it in that song there. All right. We're going to try this one. Oh, are you lonesome? Tonight, do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stay to a bright sunny day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart? Do the chairs in your parlor Seem empty and bare. And do you gaze at 
you doorstep and picture me there as your heart filled with pain. Shall I come back again? Tell me, darling, are you floating tonight? I wonder if you're lonesome tonight. You know, someone said that the world's a stage and each and every one of us must play a part. Fate had me playing in love with you as my sweetheart. Act one was where we met. I love you and at first glance and you read your lines so clever and never missed a cue. I then came act two and you seemed to change. You acted strange and why I never knew. Honey, I lied when you said you love me. I'm sorry, honey, you lied when you said you love me and I had no cause to doubt you, but I'd rather go on hanging on your lies than to go on living without you. Now the stage is bare and I'm standing there with emptiness all around. And if you won't come back to me, up and they can bring the curtain down. Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? I said, tell me, dear. Are you lonesome tonight? Defiance, Missouri. Uh, they've got their March 16th, 2024 Defiance St. Patrick's Day Festival. Don't forget to uh, get down to Defiance and see their Defiance Festival going on. And it'll be fun and exciting. It's going to start out with 5K run and or walk. And it'll start at 10 a.m. for just for fun. It'll be on the Katy Trail beginning and ending at the Good News Brewing Company at 10 a.m. And then stick around after that for the running of the Defiance St. Patrick's Day Parade beginning at the Defiance Bridge Vineyard and will go down through downtown Defiance at noon. Follow the parade. Uh, there will be a live music by e or Ed Carlson, Darren Hank, and David Green. In addition, there will be food trucks and the stores, uh, all the participating restaurants down in Defiance, Missouri. Come on down. That's Defiance, Missouri, 2886 Highway 94 South, Defiance, Missouri, 63341. Come on down. It all starts at 10 a.m. And then the St. Charles St. Patrick's Day uh, on the 17th, which is actually St. Patrick's Day, and that'll be March 17th, which is Wednesday, I believe. Uh, Sunday, actually. Sunday. So, anyway. Uh, come on down to St. Charles at 4 o'clock p.m. for the free parade. The city of St. Charles is partnering with the St. Charles Division of the and uh, of the ancient order of Hibernium or Hibernius. Yeah. I can't read it, so anyway, come on down and enjoy the parade. 
All right. All right. Well, looks like we're... Well, hello, friend. Glad that you tuned in. We're happy to have you with us because, well, it just makes the show go that much smoother when we got someone watching out there. Appreciate you coming on back to us. And uh, that reminds me of a song called Teddy Bear. So here we go. Song lyrics, Teddy Bear, Red Soul Bang. Here we go, Brady. Well, I was on the outskirts of a little southern town, trying to reach my destination before the sun went down. While the old CB was a blaring away on Channel 19, when there came a little boy's voice on the radio line. And he said, Breaker, Breaker 19, anyone out there? Come on back, truckers, and talk to Teddy Bear. Well, I keyed up that mic and I said, you got it, Teddy Bear. And a little boy's voice came back on the air. Appreciate the break. Who we got out there on that end? Well, I told him my handle and then he began. Now, I'm not supposed to be out here bothering you fellas because, well, mom says you're busy for me to stay off the air. But you see, I got lonely every now and again, and it helps to talk because, well, that's about all I can do because I'm crippled and I can't walk. I came back and I told him to fire up that mic and I'd talk to him just as long as he'd like. Well, this was my dad's radio, the little boy said, but I guess it's mine and mama's now because my daddy's dead. Dad had a wreck about a month ago he was trying to get home in a blinding snow mom has to work now to make ends meet and well i'm not much help with my two crippled feet she says not to worry though we'll make it all right but i hear her crying sometimes late at night you know there's just one thing i want more than anything else to see Oh, but I know you guys are too busy to bother with me. But you see, my dad used to take me for rides when he was at home. But I guess that's all over now that my daddy's gone. Well, not one break came on the old radio as that little boy, as that little cripple boy, uh, talked with me. Well, I tried hard to swallow a lump that just wouldn't stay down as I thought about my boy back in Greenville Town. Well, Dad was going to take Mom and me with him later on this year. But I remember him saying, someday this old truck will be yours, Teddy Bear. But I know I'll never get to ride in an 18-wheeler again. But this old base, it'll keep me in touch with my tra truck driver friends. Well, Teddy Bear's gonna back on out now and leave you alone. Cause, well, it's about time for mom to come home. But you give me a shout whenever you're passing through and I'll sure be happy to come back to you. Well, I came back and I said, hey, uh, before you go 10-10, what's your home 20, little CB friend? Well, he gave me the address, and I didn't hesitate once, because this old load was just, this hot load of freight was just going to have to wait. But I turned the truck and around on a dime, and I headed straight back to Jackson Street, 229. As I rounded the corner, oh, I got a heck of a chalk. Why, there was 18 wheelers lined up for three city blocks. Well, I guess every driver for miles around caught Teddy Bear's call. And that little crippled boy, he was having a ball. For as fast as one driver would carry him in, another would carry him out to his truck and take off again. Well, you better believe I took my turn of riding Teddy Bear. And then I 
stirred him back and I put him down in his chair. And buddy, I never lived to see a happiness again. I want you to know I saw it in that that little man's face. And when I when uh we took up a collection for him before his mama got home, and each driver said goodbye and then they were gone. He shook my hand with a mile long grin and he said, So long, trucker, I'll catch you again. Well, I hit that interstate with tears in my eyes. I turned on the radio and I got another surprise. Break right for one time came a voice on the air. Just one word of thanks from Mama Teddy Bear. We wish each and every one of you a special prayer for you because, well, you just made my little boy's dreams come true. I'll sign off now before I start to cry. May God ride with you, 10-4, and goodbye. There you have it. Teddy bear, red soul wine. I love that story. It's a good story song, or a song story, whatever. There are those out there. I cannot think of the words to that song, though it's still driving me nuts. There is a song. There's a song. Worth singing along. Can't think of what it is or where I heard it, what movie I was on. Uh, it's been, I've been watching the movie over and over. So you'd think that I would know which movie it was. That's called Sometimers, folks. When you start getting the gray hair, actually, this ain't really gray, is it? It's kind of a platinum blonde. But anyway, let's see. Might even be a commercial. That's what it is. It's a commercial. And, uh, now I gotta think of what commercial. I don't know, but I am gonna try uh the good morning song. Uh let's see, how does that one go? Uh well it's summertime and the living is easy. Song lyrics, it's summertime and the living is easy. Well, it's summertime, and I can't understand if you still feel sad. It's a summertime, although it's hard to see its true possibilities. Oh, when you look inside, all you see, when you look inside, all you see is a self-reflection, inner sadness. I look outside, I know that you'll recognize it's summertime. That's not the one. Song lyrics, it's summertime and the living is easy. That's not it. That's not it. Can't seem to find it. There. It's called Summertime. George Gershwin. Song lyrics Summertime. George Gershwin. Do, do, do. Here we go. We'll just go to genius lyrics. And we'll try it that way. Not that I'm a big fan of genius lyrics, because it's always got a big old uh, soundtrack behind it. And you can't really listen to the soundtrack and it be out of your way and it's right in front of your face. But well, it's the summer time and the living is easy. The fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Oh, your daddy is rich and your mom's good looking. So hustle, baby, and don't you cry. One of these mornings, 
You're going to rise up singing. Then you'll spread your wings and you'll take to the sky. But until that morning, there's nothing can harm you. I'll be with daddy and mommy standing by. I said it's a uh, summertime and the living is easy. Uh, one of these mornings, you are going to rise up a sin. Uh, then you'll spread your wings and you'll take it to the sky. But till that morning, there's uh, nothing can harm you with daddy and mommy standing by. That ain't the right song either. How about, do you know that song? Are you listening in? Is there any way you can text me a title to it? If I try to say you will walk away. How about, uh, um, a Louis Armstrong song? Um, what is the name of that song? The Colors of the Rainbow. So happy it's... <laughs> oh, come on. Now. What's the name of that one? Uh... Dog on it. I forgot that one now. I think it's Louis Armstrong. I don't know, Terry Fader does it with the uh, turtle. Um, the colors of the rainbow. Oh, come on. I've lost my track of mind. Song lyrics, Louis Armstrong. Oh, there we go. Song lyrics, what a wonderful world. I see trees of green, red robins too, oh, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white, the bright blessed day and the dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands. Saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. <laughs> I watch them grow. They all learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Well, there's another song on my mind. What it is, I can't be inclined. I've got to write up a song that you know is fine. Temperatures running around my mind. Where are we at when nobody knows? Well, what we're going to do is bring on toes. We got to rock ourselves a rock and roll. A wonderful day, don't you know? All right, let's see. Still trying. Still trying to think of it. I can't even think of the commercial. It's driving me nuts, friends. You ever had a worm song? You know what a worm song is, right? 
that's a song that just worms its way into your brain and it just plays and plays over and over inside your brain and you can't get it out until you sing it well that's what that song was being doing all morning long until i was piddling around and singing it and now it's gone piddling around singing the song let's see i'm thinking i'm begging to wonder all where my mind went. It was supersonic and it got spent. All where my mind went, I don't know. But I'm trying to share a song with you that you might know. Let's see. Mm, well, it's too. Baby's got her blue jeans on. That'll work. Song lyrics, baby's got her blue jeans on. Uh, down on the corner, about the traffic light, everybody's looking as she goes by. They turn their heads and they watch her till she's gone home. Oh, Lord have mercy, baby's got her blue jeans on. Above the bus stop and across the street, uh, they open up their windows to take a peek. She goes walking, rocking like a rope and stone. I said, Heaven help us, baby's got her blue jeans on. She can't help it if she's made that way. She's not to blame if they look her way. She ain't really trying to cause a scene. It just comes naturally. I said the girl can't help it. Well, up on Main Street, up by the tracks he's in, there's a crowd of people and a traffic jam. She don't look back. She ain't doing nothing wrong. I said, Lord have mercy. Baby's got her blue jeans on. She can't help it if she's made that way. She's not to blame if they look her way. She ain't really trying to cause a scene. But it just comes naturally. I said, the girl can't help it. Well, down on the corner, by the traffic light, everybody's looking as she goes by. They turn their heads and they... Watch her walking like a rolling stone. Oh, Lord have mercy. Baby's got her blue jeans on. I said, heaven help us. Baby's got her blue jeans on. Okay. I still ain't figured shit out. Another nip of the nectar. A little sip of that H2O. It's good for me. All right, they're gone. I'm by myself. I have to love them tonight. I've been to Beautifully upright. Do 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 Well, let's see, in this time of year, holidays simply appear. We're working on finding 
What wonderful holidays. Let's see. Earmuff Day, Jewel Day, and Smart and Sexy Day. Well, that's right. Put on your earmuffs, wear your jewels, and uh, look smart and sexy. That's what we're going to do today. Because those are the special holidays that are in March on the 13th. That's what we're doing today. All right. All right, kiddos. Hey, it's time for TV, Grandpa. Hey, we're going to jump up on the couch or jump up on the bed. Anywhere you want to rest your sleepy little head. Because, well, it's time for TV, Grandpa. da 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 Don't wait for it now. TV Grandpa. Repetition. That's the way we go about our day. Repetition. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 St. George and Baba 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 there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she did not know what to do. She went to the cupboard, but the cupboard was bare. All that was there was an old bone and some bread. So she boiled the bone and made some broth and gave each one of them a little bread with some soft stuff. All right, and this is the backstory of the old woman that lived in the shoe. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman who lived in a shoe. This shoe stood near a great forest and was so large that it served as a house for the old lady and her children of which she had so many that she didn't know what to do with them all. But the little old woman was very fond of her children, and they only thought of the best way to please her. Strongarm, the eldest, cut down trees for firewood. Peter made baskets of wicker work, and most and Mark was a chief gardener. Well, Lizzie milked the cows, and Jenny uh, taught the younger children to read. Now, this old woman had not always lived in a shoe. She and her family had once dwelt in a nice house covered with ivy, and her husband was a woodcutter, like Strongarm. But there lived in, they lived in a huge castle. There lived in a huge castle beyond the forest a fierce giant who one day came and laid their home in ruins with his club, and after which he carried off the poor woodcutter to his castle beyond the forest. And when the little old woman came home, her house was in ruins, and her husband was now nowhere to be seen. Well, night came on, and as the father did not return, the old lady and her family went in search for him. When they came to uh, that part of the woods where the giant had met their father, and they saw an immense shoe. Well, they spent a long time weep, weeping and calling out for the father, 
But they met with no reply. Then the old lady thought that they had better take shelter in the shoe until they could build a new house. And so Peter and Strongarm put a roof on it, and they cut a door, and they turned it into a dwelling. Here they all lived happily for many years, but the little old lady never forgot her husband and his sad fate. Strongarm, who saw how wretched his mother often was about it, proposed to the next eleven brothers that they should go with him and set their father free from the giant. Well, their mother knew that the giant's strength and would not hear of the attempt, but as she feared, they would be killed. But Strongarm was not afraid, and he brought a dozen sharp swords, and Peter made as many strong shields as and helmets, as well as crossbows and iron-headed arrows. They were now quite ready, and strong arm gave the order to seize the knocker. Now the door was open. Oh, they went to the castle, and they came to the door, and they seized the knocker, and the door was opened by a funny little boy with a large head who kept grinning and laughing. Strongarm then walked boldly across the courtyard and presently met a page who looked all or took off his hat and asked him what he wanted. Strongarm said he had come to liberate his father, who was kept a prisoner by the giant. On this little man's on this the little man said he was sorry for him because the part of the castle in which his father was kept was guarded by a large dragon. Strong arm, nothing daunted, soon found his the monster who was fast asleep, and so he made short work of him by sending his sword right through his heart, at which he jumped up uttering a loud scream and made as if he would spring forward and seize Strongarm. But as uh, the good sword had done its work and the monster fell heavily on the ground, dead. Now the giant, who had been drinking much wine, was fast asleep in a remote part of the castle. Strongarm had no sooner finished the dragon then up started the funny little boy who had opened the door. He led Strongarm around to another part of the courtyard where he saw his poor father, who at once sprung to his feet and embraced him. And then Strongarm called up his other brothers. And when they had embraced their father, they soon broke his chains and set him free. We must now return to the little old woman after her son had stray, uh, startled and started and she gave way to the most bitter grief. And while she was in this state, an old witch came to her and said she would help her as she hated the giant. And wished to kill him. So the old witch then took the little old lady on her room, and they sailed off through the air straight to the giant's castle. Now the old witch had great powers, and at once she afflicted the giant with corns and tender feet. And when he awoke from his sleep, he was in such pain that he could bear it no longer. And so he thought he would go in search of his missing shoe, which, like the other one, had he had in his castle. With ease and with an easy and large 
for his foot. Okay. And when he came to the spot where the old lady and her children lived, he saw his old shoe. And so, with a laugh that shook the trees, he thrust his foot into it, breaking through the roof and that strong arm and Peter had put on it. And the children inside, with great alarm, rushed about inside the shoe, and, frightened and trembling, scrambled through the door and the slits which the giant had formerly made for his corns. And by this time, the witch and the old lady, uh, as also strong arm, his eleven brothers and his father were come up to the spot. Strong arm and his brothers shot their arrows at him till at last he fell wounded. And when strong arm went up to him and cut off his head, then the father and the little old woman and all their children built a new house and they lived happily ever after. So that's the background story from the little old lady who lived in a shoe. Nursery rhyme, there was a little old lady who lived in a shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and whip them all soundly and put them to bed. I said there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and she whipped them all soundly and then she put them to bed. Okay, well, there you have it. Okay, hey, it looks like the daily bread portion of the program coming up for you and so here we go without further ado the daily great portion of the program is going to be brought to you today by the bible with briscoe 2024 the bible with briscoe 2024 is a daily reading of the bible to be completed within one year today's reading in the bible with briscoe 2024 will be deuteronomy 20 through 22 and mark 13 21 through 37 so don't forget to tune in to the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for your daily reading of the Bible. Let's see. Cries of Distress is today's devotion in the Daily Bread portion of the program. And today's reading, Scripture of and Insight, will be Psalm 118, 1 through 9. Cries of Distress. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. And let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. And when hard pressed, I cried out to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me, and I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me, and he is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to turn or to and than to trust in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in Princess. So there you have it. That was Psalm 118, 1 through 9, which concludes the daily bread portion of this program. And it also include, concludes the Shen Show. And that was brought to you today by the Bible with Briscoe 2024, a daily reading of the Bible. All righty. Hey, that's it, my friends. That's all. Thanks for tuning into the Shin Show. And as a, you, know, you always know, God loves Shin, so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because, well, hey, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Oh.
was goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I said goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Come back and see me tomorrow. I'll be here. And I hope that you are too. God bless you. Bye-bye.